unloading the Ranger right now to go all the way up that big canyon. See if we can kill my sister or first deer. That's a long range gun. And it kicks it kicks about way less than a seven millimeter. No, I'm not kidding you. What am I shooting? Seven millimeter. That's just if you have to go up to four hundred plus probably. Well, we better hope that I don't mm -hmm. have to shoot from that far. <laughs> I'd like to get 10 feet. So my dad, when I was 12 years old, bought me a Remington 700, 7 millimeter uh, Remington Magnum and, and uh, I've had the gun my whole life. There's some really cool history about the gun that my sister chose to shoot because my dad shot his first deer with it and I also shot my first deer with it and she chose to keep the tradition going. Today is my dad's 50th birthday, which is pretty exciting that I get to be out here up at Pyramid at the Big Canyon Ranch. Um, hopefully going to shoot my first deer with him. It's kind of sentimental to me. Um, my sister, my older sister, has gotten her first deer. I'm a middle child. My brother's younger, obviously. He's gotten his first deer, too. So this is really cool. It's my turn now. <laughs> Luckily for Kylie, she got to draw the close tag, which is only about an hour from our house, where I had the tag that was a six hour drive into nowhere. My dad goes out fishing a lot. I haven't really gone out with him before, but we used to camp all the time here when I was younger, and it's kind of a sentimental place for me to be. So I got some distant cousins that own a ranch uh, just north of Reno and they allowed us to go through and, and, and what a cool place, I mean, unbelievable. Here we are at the Old Cousins Ranch up here at the Big Canyon above Capro Ranch, Kylie's first deer tag, come here. She's excited. We yeah. might even get to kill one today, <laughs> maybe. We've seen a little four-pointer already. They're not even laying. They're out there feeding in that yellow grass. That's crazy. Did you see the one bedded down to the left, Carly? Yeah. You can't see much of it, though. We just came over this hill. We came around that a little water hole right there came up and my dad said let's stop and glass around this hillside and this canyon back over here and I looked up and I saw one buck laying down and two out feeding on the yellow grass and all three of them are bucks and she's taking a look to see if she likes any of them. We got started going up and, and uh, we got up there and I mean we, we no sooner get out of the machine and and uh, look straight up on top of this mountain and there's three bucks laying there. Connor spots them right away. And I mean, I don't, I don't even think I'm out of the machine by the time he spotted these deer. We got a deer to kill. The sun is going down. Yeah, right to you, that deer. We can come right over the top of him. You know exactly where that deer is. Well, let's go get him. Center, center console. And I already spotted those deer, and he's going to take credit for it. And you can tell all your friends that I spotted your shooter buck. Okay. Let's go. This idea must not slam the doors.
Triple Beard, the first all-lead turkey load from the makers of Heavy Shot. Speedball technology reduces defamation on setback, keeping the pellets more uniform and reduces the pancake effect of lead. Magnum Blend technology, which is a mix of five, sixes, and sevens, lets you take gobblers at any range, whether it's up close and personal or you gotta reach out and touch one. It's available in three and three and a half inch 12 gauge, as well as three inch 20 gauge. Check out the new Triple Beard at heavyshot.com. the situation a little bit. Um, I asked Connor if he was uh, okay with staying there where we were at and watching those deer and trying to give me some hand signals when I got up on the hill above them. I stayed behind with the spotting scope at a water hole and my dad and Kylie drove all the way back around the mountain and hiked over the ridge and I was going to walk them in with hand signals down, uh, down to where the buck was. Should we bring this? No. I have a coat in my bag. For me not expecting this much hiking, my dad for being 50 especially helped me out on this hike. He definitely supported me all the way up, even though he kept saying, we're almost there. We weren't almost there. <laughs> he was doing really well. I was getting a little worried because it was taking him a long time to walk over that super steep hill on the backside where I couldn't see him. Oh, but I wasn't worried about my sister because she's in super good shape and I knew my dad was going to take good care of her. So as we creep in there, it's a long stalk. Um, we creep into this rock, Connor wanted us to get to this rock. I could tell he was pointing at this rock and, and we really couldn't see over the top of the deer right on the other side of it. But it was a shale rock and, you know, kind of noisy and... We went to practice shooting a lot of times with my sister and she was shooting her gun really well. She was in the bullseye almost every shot. And she, was sh she was super comfortable with the gun. So I think it's gonna be good. After the hike, when we got settled in, got down, um, I was, my adrenaline was so high, I was ready to shoot. <laughs> Digger. You did a dirt digger. That's so friggin' awesome. <laughs> great job. Oh, that's so oh. hot. <laughs> that was a great Ooh. stop. Oh my god, he just dirt diggered him. 
<laughs> nice, Carly. <sighs> I'm shaking. Great shot, man. Great shot. Big is a big rock, and, and we pulled around the side of it, and, and Sean, the cameraman, he kind of moved around to the right side of it, so he had a little different angle than us. She took, she did not shoot at a deer with, with uh, one standing right behind it. He's not a monster, but he's an old buck. He's exactly what we wanted to get, huh, Kylie? Wasn't expecting to get him today, that's for sure. It was our first day out. Connor spotted him. He's a big old heavy, mature four by four, old buck, heavy horn, really neat in line. This experience has definitely opened my eyes. I would love to hunt again with my dad and my brother in the future, whether it's an antelope or a deer, it doesn't really matter as long as I'm hanging out with them. It was actually pretty calm looking through the scope, to be honest. I was expecting to be way more shaky and hyped up, but I got myself to calm down a little bit. It didn't take much time. Just took a deep breath, went for it. I'd like to talk today a little bit about Explorer cases. Uh, I don't travel anywhere without mine. Um, the weather sealing is perfect. It latches up super airtight. You know, the air valve for when you're traveling on a plane, on an ascend and a descend, um, it doesn't mess with your optics, whether you got binoculars, spotting scopes, or the scope on your rifle. Um, I've dropped my case out of the back of my truck I've watched the airlines throw it across the tarmac, and when I get to where I'm going, everything still works and nothing is broke. Uh, Explorer's motto is to hell and back tough, and that's no joke, and that's the only reason that I'll ever use anything but Explorer cases. So do yourself a favor, check them out at explorercases.com, and get your gear safe to wherever you're going. First time in this area ever. So one of the best parts of this hunt, you know, Connor's always busting my chops. Hey, Dad, I want to stay out there in a tent, or I want to stay out there in the camp trailer, and I want to, you know, that he loves camping in the camp trailer, and I, I love camping in the camp trailer too. And we went out to one of my old campsites out there, and you know, there's a nice hot springs there. It's really nice, and uh, you know, they had hot shower right there. I mean, it's it was pretty pretty set up. We changed our tactic a little in this unit because you couldn't really get a high vantage point to glass. So what we would do is my dad would drop us off and then we would go down into the canyons and or go up on the ridge of the canyon and glass down into the canyon, seeing if there's a little pocket of deer down there. Or w another tactic we'd use is go into the springs that are all over the mountain. This little canyon here and walk that rim rock all the way down and just stop in glass all the way across that. Look under the rim rocks on the other side because these bucks like to tuck up in the shade under those rim rocks because they feel safe there. Just kind of trotting back off to where they were over there. 
on this hunt i'm a little nervous but also super excited to be out there on my own walking through the canyons and using the skills that my dad taught me from when i was a little boy 16 power scope have it focused at 500 yards seeing clear as day it's pretty sweet We went to a new area because we were starting to lose hope in the area that we were hunting because we weren't seeing a lot of deer. And when we moved to that new area, we went, me and Matt walked into the canyon and we just started seeing deer left and right, right off the bat. <sighs> that was a long walk. It wasn't that long. It yeah. Long. How was your day sitting in the truck? When I saw the buck that my dad spotted, I saw it was a nice, not super big, but a nice four pointer. And I knew in my mind, in the back of my mind, I knew I just wanted to shoot that deer. And so we tried to make a play on it. I know, but you see the rock on the horizon right there. Get to that and shoot from that across. We were going through some big rocks and we came up on a big boulder. And my dad creeped over the boulder to spot the buck, and when we spotted it, he was close. I mean, I could have shot it with the bow. He was really close. Oh, there he goes to walk. Wait, no, I have a rock in my way. He's like, kind of like grabby. Look at that right there. Oh my. Well, this is an old block. Look at the black hair on him. 
Look at the yeah, hook. Look at the size of the hook. Hope you don't get tricked. Oh my. It's been a rough hunt up here. We've hunted six days, and each day we haven't seen more than 15 deer. This was by far the biggest buck we've seen. By a lot, actually. Nice buck. But old buck. Old one that we're, one that's good to harvest up here. I felt good about myself on this hunt because I was able to do it without my dad's help and that I knew that I could remember all the things that he taught me over the years I've hunted with him. What Prime Revolution is all about, what I'm all about, what Mike's all about is actually getting out there, being able to help your kids and, and do what we got to do when we were kids with our parents and our grandparents. and. Uh, so for us, for me, you know, to be out there with my with my kids, that's it for me. It doesn't get any better than that. They're trying to confirm if they have weapons or not. Eagle 6, they retreat. You have your weapons in the area, negative contact. Eagle 6. Where can we find out where they are? Negative contact in the north side of town. All right, these guys definitely got weapons. The wreckage of What motivates you when there's no one else around?